Easy, dude. Aren't you supposed to be like a Klingon? Behave, Klingon! There's that uh, Type 3 phaser rifle again. They're selling Federation weapons here. Jesus! Chaw would be ashamed of you. Ooh, I should have brought Chaw. Never mind. This is a sealed door. Can't get in there yet. So there's two more groups of Davidians. One of them is in the room you came from. Which kind of tripped me up. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting that room to be clear because it's the room I came from. Nice, Lima. Thanks. Oh, sniper rifle. Oh, that was close. Pran, wake up. Okay, I need to revive Lima now. Revan, do you mind? Son of a bitch, Revan's dead. Oh, just when I... God damn it. The bridge officers... This is something that's really fucking annoying, is the bridge officers are not reviving each other now. It's like, come on, really? Oh, shit. Oh, well, you saved me the trouble. If you want an ass whooping that bad, I'm more than happy to provide it. You've had enough light force fat ass. Alright. Spa triple. Discard. Speaking of tribbles. Okay, that's this this group is cleared out, good. God, the Davidians can be real jerk asses with that soul steal ability. Or drain neural energy, or whatever the hell it's called. That's what it, it's what it is. I call it what it is. It's fucking soul steal. I have expect them to like shout out in Alucard's voice, "Soul steal." Heal each other! Heal the away team, Lima! Do not attempt to stop us. We hunger, we must feed! 
Leave immediately, or I will amplify the time distortion and destroy this station. Davidian Crotch. That's the scariest thing that's happened so far. You will not survive. You will not survive my crotch. Look at it in my portrait. No, don't close it. Shit. I, can he do that? Hey, those things are holed up in the lounge, and they've got some of my customers in there with them. The door is barricaded, but a few hits with a phaser should take care of that. Get my people out of there. Let my people go. Let's see. In here? This was a good party. Everyone see the door? Kill the door. Or don't. Fine, whatever. Shit, shit, shit. Calling in Starfleet back up. Calling in Lava Monster back up. Everyone concentrate on the Shrouded Phantom. What the hell? That sounds like I'm playing Warcraft. Oh, that's gonna kill me? No, it's not. Nice going, Lima. Doesn't anyone have an intimidating shout? Ow! Chug, chug, chug. Lag is trying to kill me. Come on! That was bullshit! Pran, revive me. Somebody revive- okay. Ugh. Shit, eight. I gotcha. Get away from her, you bitch. Oh shit, he's coming over here. No, don't shoot the people standing next to it. Uh, I hope that person didn't do anything important. I also hope they didn't plan on having kids. <laughs> Fucking Davidian. <laughs> What's going on in here? Oh, God! Oh, sorry, miss. It's not me, it's my weapon. Wait, no! That didn't sound right! Sorry, miss! Didn't mean to! It's just doing it automatically! It's got a mind of its own! That doesn't sound right either! Okay, those of you who are dreading my Scottish accent, well, here it comes. Where's Revan? I was not dead. What the fuck are you doing over there, Revan? <laughs> Revan really hates Davidians, I'm guessing. He seems <laughs> he seems to not want to have to screw with them. 
Alright, everybody stop crouching. Why are all of you doing this? Why is everybody down here? This looks really stupid. We should all stop doing it. Come on, stand up. 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 Up, people. Up. Stand up. Get up. 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 Everyone get up. Not like that, Pran. Get off the table. I saw that. Why is everybody crouching? The Davidians are gone. This house is clear. Get up! Everyone, come on! Let's look professional here. Uh. Everyone wait here. Oh, now you're standing up. Except for eight. Eight's... You people are going to drive me to drink. Those of you dreading my Scottish accent, well, here it comes. Talk to Lieutenant Commander Scott. Thanks for the help, friend. What were those things? Damn spirit snuck up on me. I noticed a spike in triolic energy and was working to adjust the station's shields to compensate. I went to fetch a hyperspanner and I was attacked. If you help me, I can finish my repairs before the triolic energy reaches lethal levels. By the way, you can call me Scotty. What were those blasted things? So yeah, my Scottish accent is going to hover somewhere between Scottish and Irish. Sorry about that. <laughs> I haven't seen you around here before. What ship were you assigned to? Um, the, uh, the USS... <coughs> yeah, that, that's the one. That's a funny looking uniform you've got there, friend. Really? I came here for a few days of shore leave. Next thing I know, these crazy energy beings are running around everywhere. At least I think that's what he said. Are overrunning everything, sorry. The truck energy levels are rising. We've got to do something. Lima. Pran's being a bad influence. Stand up, people, for God's sakes. Talk to Lieutenant Commander Scott. Just as I suspected. Hang on. All right. All of you. Over there. <laughs> Go. Uh, sorry about that. Just as I suspected, the trioc energy is increasing. We'll be cooked like haggis if we don't do something about it. There's a wee store on this station. The last who runs it, Cassidy, said they might be getting a supply of the new quantum flux regulators. The Mark II versions. If we had one of those regulators, we could modify the flux... If we had one of these regulators, we could modify the flux coordinating sensors and use them to modulate the shields to protecting the station. That will buy us some time. Go find Cassidy. She'll know where they are. Again, sorry about that. <laughs> you have my heartfelt apologies for my Scottish accent. I'm still doing it, though. Well, everybody's picking themselves up. Oh, God. What the fuck did I drink? Ugh. So, you're a Klingon. Aren't you supposed to have a Klingon constitution? Shake it off, man. Oh, God, never again. Oh. Wuss. You were just neural drained by a bunch of genocidal aliens. <laughs> Fuck. That happens to us every day.
Captain McQueen. Huh. Oh, is she miming? Is she, uh... He's a captain, lady, not a lieutenant. Of course a guy named Captain McQueen has some Orion lady pouring over him. Orion bar mistress, too. No, 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 no! No, 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 See what you've done? You're being so much of a pussy, it's carried over to everybody else. You call yourself Klingon. Alright, let's see. Talk to Cassidy. What were those things? They were floating, and then they looked at me, and I felt so weak, and then it lifted me up, and ah, it was horrible! Are you looking for something from the store? A quantum what? I'm sorry, I'm just too scared right now to think about selling anything. I'll just take it then. I'm closing down until I get my wits about me. Maybe it will work best if I picked up and went back to Sherman's planet. What can I do to help? I don't know. Maybe a nerve tonic would soothe me. Can you get one for me? This is... The most... Ridiculous... Thing. <laughs> this is where it all starts break... This is where it starts going downhill. We have to do this side quest where... We have to... We have to fetch this chick some booze so we could save the station and everyone on it. Oh yeah, I'm not joking. And it's a dialogue puzzle. It's trial and error. This is where this mission starts breaking down. Up until now, it's been fantastic. Who do you think you are? First the lights go all strange, then these weird creatures show up, and worst of all, you're here picking fights with my best customers. Look at dear brave handsome Captain McQueen here. He could have been killed! You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, about the nerve tonics? Nerve tonics? How could I think about nerve tonics when my sweet Captain McQueen is injured? If you want to know more about any sort of exotic beverage, go ask that drunken Scotsman. I mean, Lieutenant Commander Scott. He knows more about alcohol than anyone I've ever met. While you do that, I'm going to make my sweet prince all better. Okay, you do that. Yeah. Take my mind off things. I'm going to pet my treble, yes. And here com here it comes again. Did you get the quantum flux regulator? Do you know about nerve tonics? Nerve tonics? Ugh. You don't look like you'll need one of those. These wee beasties are troublesome, but they're not as half as bad as a ship full of angry Romulans. Now, I've been known to enjoy the occasional nip of scotch whiskey. That's the only nerve tonic you'll ever need. Why do you need to know about them? I'm looking for a nerve tonic for Cassidy. Oh, for Cassidy! Now that makes sense. She's a bonnie lass, that Cassidy, and more than willing to spend a little time with the right Starfleet officer, if you know what I mean. But she hasn't got the stomach for fighting. Is she all right? I'd hate for anything to have happened to her. She's shaken up, but she'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Sounds like she needs something to take a wee bit of the edge off. And that happens to be one of my specialities, along with transwarp, transporter technology, and warp field mechanics, reference to the 2009 film. Cassidy's been meeting me every evening in the bar for a spot of cheer, but I've never seen her order a nerve tonic. Perhaps if I told you what she likes, you'll be able to figure out the right mix. The bartender will help you. What does Cassidy like to drink? Oh god, text! I've seen Cassidy order these drinks. Cassidy doesn't like the salty taste of the Albanian brandy, but she really enjoyed the fact that it was garnished with a drop of honey that was floated on the top of the drink. Bah, garnish is getting in the way of a fine beverage if you ask me. Can you imagine putting a wee piece of pineapple on a glass of 20 euros single malt? It's preposterous! Blood wine. 
The only time I ever saw Cassidy order blood wine was when she was feeling under the weather. Poor lass. She liked that it was served warm, but she hated those blasted heavy metal mugs the Klingons used, and the potency of it was a bit much for her to handle. A girl like Cassidy needs something with a little less kick. Okay, so you know how much I love having to write shit down. Here we are again, because for some reason I haven't written this down yet. Uh, the last time I did this, and I'm searching for a pen that works, the last time I did this, I went to stowiki.org. I cheated, yes! Because fuck this puzzle. Do you work? Do you work? Do you work? Do you work? You work. All right. So what do we know so far? She likes a drop of. She likes a garnish. Drop of honey. Yes, I'm serious. We have to write this down. Unless we want to be stuck in trial and error for the rest of this mission. Like I said, this is where this mission br starts breaking down. Uh. And she needs something... She needs something served warm. Oh, God. Denevian mead. Yes, we have to go through all of these. Soleil brought Cassidy a Denevian mead a few nights ago. Ugh, terrible sweet stuff. Like drinking syrup. Cassidy didn't like the cloying sweetness and the wee baron broke out in the hives because she was allergic to the fruit garnish. I'm not ordering any of that stuff again. She doesn't like sweet. Fire wine. Cassidy and I got into a drinking contest with a Klingon one night and we ended up drinking fire wine. It's not as good as scotch, mind you, but it's better than drinking warp coil coolant. The next morning after she picked herself off the The next morning after she picked herself up off the floor, Cassidy told me that the fire wine was so spicy that she was afraid it had eaten a hole through her stomach. I had to send her to Bones for a checkup. Also, she said that drinking from those shallow bowls made her feel like somebody's pet tarred. So, uh, no fire wine. And no, uh, no bowl. No, uh, shallow bowls. Martinis aren't my cup of tea, as it were, but Cassidy seemed to like them. She appreciated that a martini should be served as cold as possible, but since she nurses her drinks and the cold tends to dissipate and she doesn't get the full effect, she's quite fond of those fancy stemmed glasses, though. Stemmed glass. Sumerian sunset. Yes, I'm serious. There's more. Cassidy really likes her Sumerian sunsets, mostly because of the sour taste. She hates that the drinks, are, the drink is so. You know, what? I'm not going to read all of this. This is annoying. <laughs> I'll just give her one. Let's see. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read these plainly. She hates that the drink is so weak and has been trying to convince the bartender to add a garnish to it to make the happy feeling last longer, but she won't because it wouldn't be a Sumerian sunset. Let's see. Drink is so weak. Strong. Zero one. Skagarian whiskey. Okay, Cassie really likes a little pick-me-up of a drop of Skagarian whiskey, but she doesn't like the wee shot glasses or the silly paper umbrellas. Wow, whiskey. It's sacrilege. Scare, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. So, little pick-me-up. Okay, God, I hate writing shit down. And that's it. So let's go and mix this drink, finally. And get what we need to save the fucking station because some lady isn't going to give it to us because she's, oh, scared. Oh, this fucking... Ah. Oh.